Right, so my name is Haley and I'm a CSU undergraduate student in the History Department interning with the Colorado State University Extension Office. Today I'm interviewing Leah who is a part of the 2020 Meteor Mustang Makeover. Um, so I'll start with a couple of background questions. What is your dream job and what is your experience working with horses? My dream job is to work and own a ranch with my younger brother. I hope that it can still be in Steamboat, but that is definitely my dream job, is to live and run a ranch. And my background with horses, I've grown up on a ranch and I've ridden horses since I can remember. This is my first time ever training a horse, which is super exciting for me and I'm really looking forward to this summer. Awesome. Um, so what type of work have you done with horses in the past, such as like rodeo, trail riding, um, and have you ever competed? So we work on a ranch and so it's lots of moving cattle and just lots of cattle work. So in the corrals and the pasture and I've started team roping this last couple summers, which has been really fun. I'm not the best, but I'm enjoying it myself a lot and I'm getting better each time. Describe an experience you've had with horses where you've been particularly successful and proud of the work you've accomplished. Well, when I was younger, I had a little pony and she was like my best friend and I was really proud of myself when I first loped on her when I was so much younger because I remember always watching my dad do it. And I was like, he's going so fast. I want to learn how to do that. And I was really proud of myself when I first did that. And that's like one of my biggest moments was when I learned how to lope. That's awesome. Um, outside of working with horses, what have you learned from them and how have they impacted your life? Well, I have learned so much from horses, most particularly to be patient, because horses, they have their own time. They're not going for you. You can say, like, I'm going to go work with this horse for five minutes, but it'll take an hour to get something done. So I've learned patience for sure from them. And outside of horses, I've learned a lot from my family and how to work cattle and just to be patient with everybody. And so, like, that goes with school. And so I learned that you may not get along with everyone, but you have to hear both sides. Like you have to listen to the horse and know what they're thinking, but also get yourself in there too. Very true. Um, so what are some of your future goals with horses? Some of my future goals would be to train another horse, like one that I could rope off of someday, because that's a big part of my life right now. And so I really want to train a horse that I could rope off of and maybe sell later on. That would be a really good goal for me. And then to have a horse that I ride all the time for everything and who's not afraid of like ditches or water or anything like that. Awesome, awesome. Um, so now I'll move into some questions more specifically about the Meeker Mustang Makeover. Um, so Sounds why good. did you decide to join the Meeker Mustang Makeover? So I actually talked to Deirdre McNabb and she invited my brother and I, and she was like, this might be a great opportunity for you guys. And so as a family, we all started thinking about it. And I was like, this seems like a great opportunity. And lots of things got canceled this year, lots of my 4-H activities. I'm like, if I'm definitely going to be around. This would be a perfect time to give a Mustang a new home and like a better opportunity at a better life. I thought this was a great opportunity. That's awesome. Um, so what has your favorite part been so far of training a Mustang? Getting to know her. So my horse is Cedar Rose and she's a buckskin. She's 18 months and just getting to know her personality and like reading her body language has been super cool because we've always bought, bought horses or like I've always been around horses my dad's trained and so they already know me and it was really cool to be able to sit with the Mustang and get her used to me and I get used to her and it was really neat. Awesome. Um, so kind of on the opposite side of that, what challenges have you come across and how are you handling them? The challenge is that she's wild and so she's been super nervous at the start and so we've started to like, I'm in there all the time with her and so I would sit there and read with her so she would get used to my voice and kind of calm down and she would hear me and she'd kind of get curious and want to come up next to me and so I've spent a lot of time with her and that's how I've overcome those hard times. That's awesome. Um, so what do you hope to, what do you hope to accomplish by participating in the Meeker Mustang Makeover? I hope to get more awareness out there for other Mustangs and that 
there's a bunch of different organizations that are out there to help wild horses and mustangs. I think that this is a great opportunity to expand that, especially in my town of Steamboat. People don't know quite as much, and we know that like there's wild horse herds around, but I think this is a great opportunity to educate people and a great way to get them to come to Meeker and maybe buy some horses. Awesome. Yes. Um, so what are the elements that you think are important to important to consider with regards to horses, such as like feed, care, housing? So it's super important to, like you said, watch out for their feed because you never quite know what they can get into and how they may react to it. Like lots of our domestic animals like to eat grain. And so it's kind of different feeding Mustang grain because she's not so sure about it. And the smell is so different than what she's used to. And so that's been a kind of a hard thing is trying to get her to come to certain feeds. And then we always make sure she's under, has a shed so that she's protected from the weather and wind, and rain and stuff, because that can get pretty bad. And to be sitting outside during that, it's really great to have protection for her. And so I'm always looking out and making sure that there's nothing in her pen that's gonna hurt her or just poking out at her. And our fence is super stable, so we don't want her to like run over it and get hurt through it, so. Definitely. Uh, awesome. Well, that's all the questions I have for you, but is there anything else you would like to share? No, I think that's all. Oh, except for the sale is September 11th, and so I'm hoping everybody can come who's watching this. Awesome. Uh, well, thanks for chatting with me, and good luck with the rest of your training. I look forward to seeing the results in September.